welcome back. During the transition, I found us a nice flat spot up on this hill. And we are going to dig. I have chosen this corner. And we dig. Now, when you dig, you will get dirt. A very heavy dirt lump in your inventory. And the level of that dirt will go down by one point of whatever. Um, the other options with a shovel... Yes, I've dug. Um, flatten. It attempts to flatten out the tile you're on along with tiles around it, which tends to screw up quite a bit. Um, another option you have is to pack the dirt, if it's plain dirt, or you can cultivate if it's already packed. Now, you can pack on grass, step, and the like, and it will remove it and turn it into regular dirt. We will probably go over that later. So, for now, let's head back to town with our firewood burning merrily. Though I didn't fuel it, so it's not going to last very long. Okay. And it is getting lighter, I think, even if we can see through the mess of the storm that's going on. something to say when I'm going back and forth. Okay. Trudge over here, and I think that's all for the digging. Yes, planks. Lovely plank stuff. Okay. Some nails, and can start building a house. Yes, I will do this. So, to make our planks, Double click the saw, right click on the log, and we go to plank sawing. Sawing logs. Looks like somebody's fighting a wolf in town. See, there are guards in most of the major cities. And if you call them, they will come and help you. Also, if the creature wanders into town, or somebody brings it into town, they will all gang up on it and attack it. So, we have failed with our plank making, and we made wood scrap. So, I am going to pause the video here, and I will keep sawing the log until we have the plank that we need. And we are back with our plank. It actually only took two other failed wood scrap parts. So we to marry once more. Next job is mining, which is a little bit more difficult. But before we do that, I want to talk about well we can give it a dirt. Can't drop dirt in town. Which just seems a little silly when there's garbage everywhere. But, let's move out here and get rid of the dirt. Go away, dirt. You bother me. Okay. Ah, there's a cave up there. Good. That's where we need to go next. We can never get rid of the dirt. Drop the dirt. Yay! Now, actually, dropping the dirt here will raise this slope up a little bit. People doing emotes. If you can hear the audio. Probably wave. I think that the wave does that. But I don't think they're trying to talk to me. So. Hopefully they're not, anyway. And one thing I want to talk about, the wood scraps. Now, wood scraps all weigh two at this point. They make actually good firewood, but to fuel, fully fuel a fire, you need a weight of 20. So if you double click the bottom one here, hold down shift, click the top one, it'll select all of them. Then you right click on one you're not selected, and you can click combine. And it's very useful, now you have one wood scrap 
that weighs 10 kilograms. Which is useful when you have, oh, 30 or so wood scraps from making 200 planks to build a house. So, we need to equip our pickaxe and head into the mine here. The hope is that we can not kill ourselves going down the hill here and find some sort of vein. Okay. Cave wall, cave wall, cave wall. Now I could just pick a wall and go mining, but I would much rather have a vein, preferably with iron. Looks like there isn't much of anything, so we'll go ahead and continue digging downward. Right click on the wall while you cooked with the pickaxe, and we mine. Let's just mine straight. I haven't done a whole lot of mining. Um, it's where you get your ores. Uh, I've seen gold, silver. I know there's copper in game. Uh, and then, of course, iron, which is the staple for making most tools. I kind of like the sound effects. I don't know if you guys can hear them on these videos. I did try to turn that up a little bit. But, like, when I was sawing the log, you hear the sound of the log being sawed. And you can hear thunks as I chip away at this wall. Okay. Now, this is the point of doing the intros. I receive a 20 coin. 20 coin iron. The cave walls look very unstable and dirt flows in. You would be buried alive. Okay, I am not digging there anymore. So, in the future, I can f find some mine that actually has something in it. And from there, we can forge some things. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my backpack. Because I don't need it out. Climb out. Okay. Once more, back to Mary the Mythbuster. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Pile of birchwood kindling. Oh. There's one of the guards. Spirit Templars. Kind of freaky having ghosts running around protecting your town, but... I suppose it makes sense if they don't talk to you or anything. So, the final words. Uh, it talks about having a bed to log you off and get bonus for such things as crafting and gaining experience. Um, it also tells you to do as much combat as possible, which really is horrible. Uh, combat in this game is very dangerous. You can die, and it will send you back to the spawn point over there, and you'll have to walk back to wherever you were. Now, the stuff on your corpse will be safe until the corpse rots, but after the corpse rots, anything on it can be and will be looted. So, that ends this video. In the next video, we will be taking you from New Dawn over to the Voltron homestead. So, look forward to that.